Hi all, Hal here with more 7 Days to Die. And as you can see, we are in day 27. Um, last Friday we had the dog horde kind of show up when we were just starting out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head over to Hub City. I know, bad Hal. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't remember to uh, put a marker down saying what day I was on when I uh, was over here last, so... Uh, oh well. <laughs> but it has been a few days in game, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look, see what's over here. Um, and then we are going to, if everything's respawned, we're going to go do a loot run. If not, we're going to run back and finish working on the base, because we are coming up on the Day 28 Horde, which uh, is promising to be an interesting one. So... Uh, I have been doing a little bit of work off camera, well, I've been doing a lot of work off camera, but <laughs> not as much as I could have been. Um, and what we're going to do is when we get back to the base, I'll show you what I've been working on. Um, but what I want to do right now is, like I said, we are going to go hit Hub City, hopefully. Alright. Um, I do have a little bit of food and water with me. I'm hoping that we're not going to need it in the immediate future. But uh, you never know. And once again, Puppy wants to be internet famous. Say hi to Puppy, everybody. <laughs> Say hi to the internet, Puppy. <laughs> so, yeah. So, happy Monday, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Uh, the weekend for me was actually a little bit interesting. We had some unexpected rain over the weekend. So, uh, if I sound a little congested, I apologize. It's just, you know, sinuses. <laughs> See, I never had a sinus problem until I lived until I moved to California. That was when I started getting uh, all of the sinus issues. I think it's just because uh, I, I grew up on the East Coast, so there's you know a lot more moisture in the air over there and over than it is over here. So, but yeah, it's kind of funny because you know even after I was in the military for a few years and didn't really have problems there either. It's, it really is just seems to be the. Uh, living in California uh, oh well the price we pay to live in nice places <laughs> all right so let's uh I'm gonna go ahead and do a cut here if I run into any massive trouble I will definitely bring you all back uh, but for now I don't want to spare you the the boredom of running through, through running through the area to hub city with me so <laughs> all right I will uh, be right back Hell, and we are back. So, uh, yeah, it looks like the Shotgun Messiah has not respawned yet. Um, so I don't know... Oh, car battery. Finally, and it's a purple, wouldn't it, figure? <laughs> Great. Uh, gotta love it, right? Oh... Um, and for the people who don't know, basically I've been looking for a car battery because uh, I wanted to make some of the uh, the lights. And as we can see here, all of this has not respawned, so I'm not even going to waste my time. I am going to hit the bookstore just to see. Um, because it is possible. That's the shamway. Yeah, it's, uh, Hub City's been a little busy today. We're up to 102. I am seriously considering going hunting while I am here. Nope, hasn't respawned. Hasn't respawned. Oh, look at that. Partial respawns, at least. Chainsaw schematic. Yeah, yeah. Shotgun, SMG, scrap paper, anything over here? Does any of this respond? No, no. Have you guys respond? No, of course not. That would be entirely too easy if you had. Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Before they destroy the place. <laughs> Alright, and I, since I am uh, running dangerously low on food, I'm 
Yes, I know this is ridiculous. I shouldn't be doing this while I'm in Hub City of all places, but you know what? I just really, really needed the food. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get out of here. We are going to start heading back to our base. There's a whole lot of stuff. All right. And uh, we will... <laughs> You know what? I will. I'll leave this recording while we run through Hub City, because you never know. With the way things are going, I may end up actually getting swarmed by dogs or you know, random horde or something. But we are going to be heading back to our base. Uh, if I find any, oh look, more deer. Look at that. Yeah, I know I'm hunted. I'm always hunted. Nothing. See, I've got the worst loot look. I really do. Look, pig. <laughs> it's rather surprising we're seeing all of the animals in Hub City, because normally I don't get this lucky when it comes to uh, looking for food. Alright, so we are at 100. Actually, do I have any room in inventory? Oh, let's get rid of that. What we're going to do... Well, I don't have a coat on either. I'm surprised I'm generating as much body heat as I am. Yeah, see? I do have the absolute worst luck when it comes to <laughs> looting some of this stuff sometimes. Uh, but we do want to get out of Hub City so that I can uh, cool down a little bit. So, thankfully this edge of Hub City is on a uh, much more relaxed biome. Uh, oh, looks like we have some stuff down there. And we have the stores up there, so... I'm going to set a quick link here. That way we can go see, because I think that's where we left off last time I was in Hub City. Uh, we were over here, and I wanted to basically break into some of the places, but we were running really, really low on time. And this time, since we do seem to have a little bit more uh, time this time around, we will... Uh, it's brass. I hope they get the uh, that process, the, the brass making process, actually in the game. They keep talking about it. We're gonna be able to be to be able to make alloys and things. I mean, I, yeah, I know that it's going to be a uh, it'll be locked behind a skill book because everything that Mad Mole introduces lately has been locked behind skill books. But ah, uh, you know, I'm not worried about paper. Not right now. Oh, that's a spider zombie. That's not good. Uh, I could really use that. I'm not worried about the puffer jacket. I've got a couple of those. Alright, here. And you're starting to overheat again. Alright, so let's go hit a few more of these things. Now, for the folks who haven't found the leatherworking book yet, um, if you find a movie theater, I definitely recommend getting in there um, because what you can do is, if you have a wrench, you can take the leather seats apart and pull the leather out of the out of the uh, the seats. Really, really helpful when you uh, start running in the situations where you're running low on resources and, you know, you really need one. Alright, so... What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this stuff here. And... Oh. Alright. All these are empty still. Alright. So this hasn't respawned at all. But speaking of, 
Her, her, her. Fast way to open up inventory, right? So let's go see, this is the tool time? Working stiffs? Yeah. And put you down like the dog you are. Hey, buddy. You can sit down. You can sit down. Awesome. Oh, oh, looks like this is not going to be respawn. Oh, no, that's got stuff in it. You have stuff in it? You have stuff in it, too. Okay. Whoops. That's just stuff that I left. <laughs> Doesn't that figure? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh. What can we leave? What can we leave? We don't really need the sledgehammer. We will take the shotgun shells, though. Definitely don't need the anvils. Uh, pistol grip we don't really need. We'll leave the shirt and club stuff here. Grab the shotgun parts. Alright. Empty, empty. Everything here is empty. Alright, let's break into the safe. We're actually making pretty good time because of the fact that everything's already been looted anyway, so... <laughs> what do we got? Oh! Already have- I already know that one, but that's okay. We'll read it again anyway. Because apparently, uh... I didn't know something in there. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of here. I think... Man, I, have, I must have just left them. I don't remember leaving all this stuff back behind. All right. Well, I guess I did. So, Your jars are always good. You know, of all the things, I say empty jars are good, but that's because I'm trying to keep a positive outlook on life. <laughs> Like if you're willing to give me something, give me the beer and stuff, guys. Come on. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Uh, we still have a large section over here to un to open up. So what we're going to do is, because we are heading home, we're going to uh, run through over here just to open this up so we know what's over here. So when we come back next time. And I do need to remember we are on day 27. Shot him in the cloaca. <laughs> Good fall. Awesome. All right. Yeah, stuff in there. Yeah. It's one of those. Eh. You might as well just grab it. And that was already. I don't know why I stopped there. If it was already empty, and you are empty. All right. So. Hey, look, more animals. And yes, I know I left the uh, the meat back in one of the the uh, filing cabinets. Basically, what I'm doing is building up stores of uh, supplies in places, so that when we come back, we actually have stuff over here worth coming back for. Uh, because knowing that I've got like 30, basically 30 meat in town is um, a pretty good thing here. Do I have meat on me right now. Okay. Actually, that pig gave us a lot of meat. How are we doing over here? 
All right, so we are now back in the actual burning biome aspect of Hub City. So we are going to start generating heat again, unfortunately. All sorts of bags and stuff over here. Nah, uh, berries. So it wasn't even good berries either. It's... Oh. Settle down, Francis. You just glue. You aren't even useful, damn glue sniffer. Ah, all right. Let's see what we have over here. Uh, at some point, I am planning on coming into Hub City to do a uh, a build. So that's one of the reasons why I'm spending so much time exploring the area now, because I want to make sure I have everything open. Um, so what I am planning on doing is basically getting everything together to do a, a reinforced concrete build. But in order to do that, what I'm going to need to do... I don't have any, don't have any beer. Uh, so what I need to do is to actually get all of the concrete and everything done. I've just finished making like 2,000 cobble. Because what I'm, I'm planning on doing for the rest of this episode, once we get back to the base, I'm going to actually end up working on um, the base walls a little bit. Because we still have that last layer of wall to, to put cobble in. And hopefully we will have enough time today, during the day, to, uh, to do this. Because I would really like to have the horde be our Friday episode. <laughs> actually, we are actually we are running out of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here, um, and then we will when we come back I will be working on the base a little bit more, and we'll see what's going on. So thank you all for stopping in today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, throw it in the section below the video. I will do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Uh, if I don't make it though, I apologize. I just ran out of time. And as I am out of time, I am out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic week. And once again, happy Monday, everybody. As always, take care and be safe out there, everyone. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. That's a puppy. Hi, puppy. That's not good. All right. Whew. You know what? Where'd you go? I'm gonna skin you, Cujo. <laughs> mm.